Finding problems, that's easy. They exist in every community. I'm Terry Springs, your host. We're looking deeper, and we are talking solutions, finding out how we all can make a difference. Today, I'm talking solutions from Positively Arts Foundation, Polita Dinesh. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me back, Terry. Plus, John Dale Stanley is here with the favorite local band, The Forgotten Door. Glad to have you back, John Good Dale. Good to be back, Terry. Thank and you. And from Positively Arts Foundation, Kat Ryan, performer. I can't wait to hear about your story. Polita, if we could start with you, what is Positively Arts Foundation? Positively Arts Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit that I launched about five years ago. I started it here in Las Vegas because I found that there was a need to spread the arts and the positive impact of the arts here in the Las Vegas Valley. Who are you trying to spread that experience to? I believe the arts are for everyone, and my programs are generally child-focused. However, as John Dale knows, people of all ages can benefit from the arts. Correct. And she's reaching out to children, and there's such a huge need. I think we all see that with children who need someone to show that someone cares about them. That'll oftentimes lead to children not wanting to join a gang. If you have a purpose in your heart to shoot for, sometimes at least derails behavior that would lead to all kinds of bad stuff. Things. Exactly. And at a very, very difficult time of kids' lives. That decade that includes the teenage years, toughest time of your life, no matter what your situation. Your body's going through changes and you're not secure in yourself and what's going on and the people around you and what you're good at, what you have in your future. Polita, don't you focus a lot of your program on at-risk kids? I definitely do. At Positively Arts Foundation, we use the arts to empower, to inspire, and to heal. One of our main ways of doing that is we bridge the gap between aspiring artists and professional artists. And let me tell you, I know I say that the foundation is geared towards children and impacting the lives of children at risk, low income, any kids. But I'm going to tell you, pairing aspiring artists with professional artists, you will not believe how many of the professional artists are the ones who come out of the whole experience being more changed. When you witness the impact that your mentorship and empowerment has on a young aspiring artist, I believe it changes you as an adult more so than the child that you just inspired. John Dale Stanley with Forgotten Door also in studio with us. When you come across a young artist who's very passionate about the same thing that you love doing, it kind of reignites that flame in you, doesn't it? Yes. When I see young people that are reaching out musically, and it's encouraging that their mind is going down a track in a positive vein instead of a track of self-destruction. There's nothing like music I have found that touches the human soul more than music. Positively, Arts Foundation has been around, you said, Polita, like five years? Five years. I started it back in 2011 here in Las Vegas. Weren't you the first recipient of the Nevada Proud Award? Recognized specifically at that time for an event we did at Planet Hollywood. We invited several students to meet the cast of Surf the Musical, learn a number from the show, go backstage, and then watch the show for free and get mentored by the current cast members. We revisited that concept a few months ago. Rock of Ages generously invited 17 Positively Arts Foundation kids to go to their stage, learn from the best, train, sing Don't Stop Believing on the Rock of Ages stage, fully mic'd up. All 17 kids had microphones. The entire cast came, sat in the audience, and watched these kids perform. The most amazing experience. Actually, one of the kids who was there is sitting right next to me, Kat Ryan. She was 16 at the time. She just turned 17. <laughs> She's a full young lady now. So I'd love to know what you thought about that whole experience. Um, to talk about Rock of Age is just to work with people who know what they're doing, who know what they want. Because like you said, as a teenager, it is so hard to know who you are, what you want to be, what you want to be doing. So to see people who are so sure of themselves doing something that you think could be an option for you and then performing on the stage that they perform on nightly, it makes everything so much clearer. It's got to be right up there as far as the best experiences you've ever had in your now 17 years of life. Oh, for sure. The whole stage was amazing. To be there with people who you relate to, as well as friends, to experience that by yourself, but especially with other people, was an amazing experience. Well, when you find that that is a passion for you, and then you also are on stage and you're realizing that it might not just be a dream, it really could be a possibility. People do this. People are able to achieve this, perform, and make that their life. And Polita, you 
are a professional performer. I would like to consider myself a professional <laughs> performer. She's being very I, humble. She's no. incredible. I've been an actor's equity performer for 16 years. I'd like to think I started my professional career back in my Disney days in Orlando, Florida. I worked for Disney and sang for them for seven years. I got to tour around the world. I was kind of a, an ambassador for Walt Disney and sang Disney songs in several different languages. Got to travel to new places and bring the Disney branding and messaging to people, which I love that company. It's all about magic and inspiration and hope. I actually infused those Disney principles into Positively Arts Foundation. When I look at a kid, I look at complete hope and joy and light. That kid is just ready to propel forward and be this positive light for everyone. And when I look at myself and other professionals, we look at ourselves, oh, we're old fuddy-duddies. We were full of light at one point. (laughs) It's contagious. Every time I help a kid, I get more light within myself. That's why I feel like us as adults who mentor kids, we're given a second chance almost. We're inspired by the kids we help. They're on the way up. We're just steering them in the right direction and helping them make good choices and reminding them to look within themselves and don't be influenced by peer pressure or what everyone else is doing. Really take the time, stop, meditate, find what your artistic passion and creativity is within, and then find your outlet. Find a way to express it, whether it's dance, visual art, singing, whatever it is. We as a world want to hear what's inside you. So take that time, find out who you are, and oh my gosh, I can't wait to hear it. I can't wait to see it. Be you. Find your passion. Be strong. I know that's hard when you're young. Like I mentioned earlier, there are just so many difficult things that are part of the life experience when you're in your teen years. But find your passion. Felita, a young person gets involved with Positively Arts Foundation. Where do you find them? Or do they find you or both? It happens in many ways. I make sure to put myself out into the community where I can be seen. One of the ways I do that is I work hand in hand with the partnership office at CCSD. Through Judy Myers and her amazing staff, I get directly connected with with schools that are most in need of arts integration programs. One of the main things we're doing right now is an anti-bullying school tour. We've been in, oh geez, almost 70 schools already, and we have another 90 to go. Positively Arts Foundation takes artists, and we go into the schools with the message of empowerment, inspiration, leadership. We all know Be Kind. It kind of goes hand in hand with that. We give this inspiring, motivating, interactive performance with groups of 100 kids at a time. We get them on their feet. We get them feeling empowered. One of the people I use for the anti-bullying school tour is Angie Freeman. She's a stepper. She gets kids on their feet, stepping in sync, working together, illustrating teamwork and leadership. And then Kat Ryan over here, she sings while the kids are stepping. So it's putting together movement and voice. And just to watch a room of 100 plus kids moving in sync, singing together a song that they just learned, a song which, by the way, Kat Ryan wrote, an original song. She teaches them the chorus. It's just so amazing. I have so many wonderful reviews from parents, counselors, principals about the anti-bullying school tour, and I'm looking forward to continuing that in 2016. I just saw online that you had formed some kind of a partnership with an anti-bullying group. Yes, people think of the B word, the bullying word. It's a scary thing. When I was growing up, when I was in school back in the 80s and 90s, we never really said that word. It might have been around, but it was nothing like it is today, and I believe that's because of technology, social Mm -hmm. media and the pressure to be this perfect person. All of a sudden now there are so many more ideals and standards that you have to align with and it is in your face. Not just when you turn on the TV like in our good old days, when you go on your computer, when you're talking to anyone, people usually reference some sort of media in their phone or computer and all of a sudden the standards are higher, everything is more unattainable and the pressure to be this perfect person is frightening to me. So the pressure that these kids have to go through, I can't even imagine And just going in there and reminding them, hey, it's okay to also just be you. Because especially as performing artists, we're crazy. We're weird. We're unique. We're the people who spontaneously sing in the shopping malls and in the shower and in our cars. And we don't care who's looking. It takes a weirdo to do that. And we want to spread the word that it's okay to be a weirdo. It's awesome. These same people you idolize that you listen to on the radio and watch their music videos, they're weirdos too. They didn't conform. They didn't bully. They didn't put people down. They just were who they were. And now they're quote unquote famous. So why can't we be more like the weirdos and the performing artists and share that passion and joy? 
that's a hard path to follow because people are not always going to approve of what you're doing. But in Positively Arts Foundation, where you're performing, where Cat, in your case, not just are you singing, you've also been songwriting. Any other stuff that you add into that? I've done a little bit of acting, just whatever gets thrown at me. It's all an experience, positive experience recently, especially since I've gotten involved with Positively Arts Foundation. Just to say about the positivity, to have something in this business, a crazy business that does nothing but inspire you and empower you, people who have so much faith in you. Upon meeting Kalita, we didn't even speak to each other beforehand, and she when she looked at me for the first time, there was so much faith and hope in her eyes. And to have someone have that much power over you is crazy. To have someone who I don't even know have faith in me and have faith in my abilities and what I want to do, it makes the faith in yourself more strong. Polita, we just think you're one of the most positive people that we've ever met. Kat, how did you find Positively Arts Foundation? One of the things that Positively Arts Foundation does is they have camps called Broadway Dreamers Camps. And at these camps, they pair together professionals with students through workshops. And then we perform all together at the end. I enrolled and I was in two of the camps. And that's how I met Polita. And the amount of opportunities that I've gotten just from that first camp is crazy. And the amount of friends I've made, the amount of knowledge I've gained, it's amazing. What a good thing to get involved in. Positively Arts Foundation, 501c3 charity. How do you fund these things? I would imagine with the performers that you work with and shows on the strip, a lot of them are just wonderful people who volunteer their time to help these kids. But there's got to be some expenses. You've got to need some help somewhere. Where do you get that? Well, I must say for the first three or four years of my existence, I did rely upon the kindness and giving of others because I started from scratch. I didn't have a lot of funding. But what I found was that there were so many giving and wonderful performers right here in Las Vegas. Performers from Jersey Boys, Rock of Ages, Cirque du Soleil, Headliners. The minute they found out I existed, they said, Polita, how can I help? They donate free lessons, free master classes. They just want to meet and inspire these kids because like I said, they get a reward to help someone and inspire someone and then watch them break free and spread their message and their song. It does so much for you as a professional artist. You want to do it again and again and again. And I've been working with some of the same performers for the last four years who always give. Now, now that I've expanded, my new mission is to not only mentor children and work with them and inspire them, I want to give them performance opportunities. So I started pairing with stages and venues across the strip. We're at the Plaza, we're at Lake Las Vegas, we're at Treasure Island, we're at Hard Rock Live, and these kids actually get to shine on these professional stages. So I'm really putting this package together. And yes, there are some production costs involved in that, even though venues like TI and Hard Rock Live have graciously donated their venues, there are still sound and lighting costs, costumes, production, rehearsal space. So yeah, for the first time ever, I am needing some funding to give these kids these amazing opportunities. And Positively Arts Foundation is gladly accepting money or resources or volunteers in any way who can help facilitate that. And you can go to my website, www.pafgive.org and donate right there on the donations page. That would be for Positively Arts Foundation, pafgive.org. A lot of information there, I'm sure. Yes. So when it comes to fundraisers, John Dale Stanley from Forgotten Door, how long have you guys been performing here? We had a residency here actually about a year and a half ago. That went very well. There is a reason that we're getting behind and working with Polita. Her energy is so vibrant, and Polita stands for the right things, empowering children, giving them something to hope for. It's been a huge blessing to meet this young lady, for me personally and for the band. We're discussing the Positively Arts Foundation today on Talking Solutions. You guys have a fundraiser coming up a week from today on the 17th at the Plaza Hotel. Get launched Vegas. It is the newest initiative from Positively Arts Foundation. And I wanted to thank John Dale Stanley and Forgotten Door. They're opening the show for a whole hour from 2 to 3 p.m. They are donating their wonderful music. I'm so excited for people to hear it. It's going to be great. You asked earlier, Terry, how do I get funding for Positively Arts Foundation? One of the main ways I get funding is through the generosity of performers, bands, musicians, professional artists. Over the years, people like John Dale and Forgotten Door, Jersey Boys, Molotti, Keeping It Country, the Las Vegas Tenors, they have donated performances to Positively Arts Foundation. 
at big venues here in Las Vegas. They help me raise money for these kids. And they do it for nothing. They do it because they know by them spreading their love of music on the stage, they'll help me with ticket sales, raffle sales, and that money can go directly back to the kids so that they can have that same feeling of being on a stage and feeling empowered and feeling like somebody wants to hear my song. Somebody wants to hear my voice. And I'll tell you, as a performer, to stand on a stage and do this vulnerable thing, singing, pouring your heart out. It's scary, but it's so rewarding. Because to stand there as a singer and to look out in the audience and see that you have the undivided attention of people, you're doing this scary, vulnerable thing, and then they're clapping for you. I can't tell you how rewarding that feeling is. So to give that to someone six years old to 18 years old and then watch how they take that in, to watch how they respond to it, it's the greatest thing ever. And the inspiration for Get Launched, the new Positively Arts Foundation initiative, is sitting right next to me. Her name is Kat Ryan. A few months ago, Kat Ryan sang with the Las Vegas tenors. She sang a huge song, The Prayer. Whoa, I love that song. She sang The Prayer... We're used to hearing greats like Celine Dion sing uh-huh. it. And I go to the 16-year-old and I say, hey, I want you to get on this plaza showroom stage with these veterans, the Las Vegas tenors who have toured the world. And I was like, I think you can handle it, Kat. Why don't you just go sing the Celine Dion song? You know what she did? She looked at me and she said, okay, Polita, I'm ready. And I... <laughs> I mean, I'm 38 years old. I've been singing for 20 plus years. And if someone came to me and said, you're going to sing on a Las Vegas stage, a Celine Dion song with world-renowned Las Vegas tenors, I would look at them and go, gulp. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. This fearless 16-year-old looks at me and goes, I'm ready, Polita. And she knocked it out of the park. I could not believe watching a 16-year-old with these professionals on a Las Vegas stage, and she killed it. I'm standing there going, this what I'm looking at right now, I need to do this more. I need to do this again. I need more kids to do what Cat Ryan is doing right now. Hence, Get Launched. Get Launched is 30 aspiring artists get to perform at the plaza in front of a panel of 15 celebrity judges from the strip. They perform on the 17th for the judges. They get reviewed, critiqued, feedback. And two weeks later, those same 30 kids get to perform on the plaza stage with the celebrity artists. So each judge gets to pick two kids and they will perform together on the plaza showroom stage on the 31st. And I'm thinking that they probably will work with the kids that they will be performing with. Yes, so during the two-week interim in between the 17th and the 31st, these amazing judges, 15, have volunteered to be mentors and inspirations for these 30 kids. So these people from Jersey Boys, Rock of Ages, Recycled Percussion, Ink Productions, some casting agencies in town, Steve Byer Productions, Platinum Productions, they agreed, I'm going to work with these kids one-on-one. They can come watch the show I'm in, shadow me. They can come to my place of work. I want to be their mentor for two weeks. And then after two weeks, I want to perform with them. I am floored with how many people came forward. When I was like, oh, how am I going to find 15 people who are professionals who are singing or working nightly or musicians? How am I going to get them to volunteer? Oh, it was easy. I sent one text (laughs) message to my cast member friends and all the strips. They're like, yeah, let's do it. I'm in. I'm in. Every single one of them. In fact, I have a waiting list of about 12 professionals who want to do it next time. So we're actually going to do Get Launched Quarterly because there are so many celebrity professional artists who want to mentor these kids. And I'll take it. I mean, Cat Ryan inspired me to do this. I had a thought. I put it into motion and it's coming to fruition just like that because of the giving and wonderful spirit of professionals in this town. Quick question for you, Cat. When you came out to do the prayer with the Las Vegas Tenors, <laughs> How did that feel? Oh, gosh. It made everything so much more palpable. It was so surreal to realize that what I want to do is actually something that people are doing. And I'm doing it with people who know how to do it the best. And I can learn from them, and I can just do it with them. It was crazy. Wow. (laughs) That's quite the highlight. All right, so on the 17th at the Plaza, here's what people can get in on. And I would imagine they can buy tickets to be part of this entire event. You first of all get an hour of the incredible music from Forgotten Door. So you start out with a great concert experience. And then you move on to watching these 30 kids who are going to audition At Positively Arts Foundation, we believe that every young artist deserves a chance to shine. So when I use the word, they audition for the judges, I use it lightly. We want to give the kids the experience of auditioning professionally, because most of these kids want to do this for a living. Mm -hmm. So we put them through the process just for the experience of it. A lot of what we do at Broadway Dreamers, which is the performance arts academy that I run, is we put kids through these 
professional experiences. We give them mock auditions. We put them on actual stages working with sound men who mix the greatest of the greats. You know, so I call this an audition because I want the kids to feel that exhilaration that we feel as professionals when we audition for things. So they're going to walk on that Plaza showroom stage. It's going to be like American Idol style. Your host is Jeff Savillico. Oh, I love him. He's amazing. He agreed in one second to do this. In fact, I think it was actually his idea. <laughs> He's like, I want to host it, please. Okay, then. We can make that happen. He has a show that day at the Flamingo, his headliner show. So he's going to host and then run over to attach his show. Thank you to Jeff Savillico for being our host. So American Idol style, Jeff Savillico is going to bring these kids on the stage one by one. They're going to perform their two to three minute piece. They're going to receive feedback from the judges. And then two weeks later, every single kid gets to perform on that stage again with the celebrity judges. So you got 15 celebrity judges that are actively involved in this event. Each one of them will work with two of the kids who are part of Positively Arts Foundation. So it's the performer paired up with two of the kids. And so during that two-week period, that's the time when they work together to put on this incredible show. Correct. And any kid in Las Vegas can participate. I put up the flyer for this yesterday, and 22 spots out of the 30 got taken. So that means there are still eight spots available for any kid who's hearing this broadcast, any kid who sees the flyer. Email pilita at pafgive.org, and you can be a part of this. It's P I L I T A at pafgive.org. Let me know and I will sign you up. And we're doing this quarterly, so there'll be four of these. If you don't make one of the coveted eight spots that are left, I will put you in the next one. This is an opportunity I want every kid who loves the arts to have. If you're a kid and you're listening to this, if you're a parent and you know someone who would enjoy this process, email me, let me know. The phone number to call is area code 407-928-7995. Call me if your kid wants to be involved in anything that Positively Arts Foundation does, whether it's Broadway Dreamers, performing arts camps, whether it's these Get Launched American Idol style shows, whether it's the anti-bullying school tours. If you want to donate your performance and inspire these kids, call me 407-928-7995 or email me at pilita at pafgive.org and I will make sure you are a part of this. I don't want anyone to miss out on these amazing opportunities. Polita, I know that you are a performer by trade. That's obviously your passion and what you do, but I just can tell by talking with you that the Positively Arts Foundation is an equally big part of your life. It is. I will say that anyone who has met me in the last five years, they know me and they know PATH. It is something that I believe will be connected to me for my entire life. It's part of who I am. You got to let kids know that their voice is something to be heard. That is the most empowering thing. Every kid wants to be heard. And the value of taking the time to listen to what it is that kid has to say, that's what's going to create these amazing humans that will continue to spread love and joy on this planet. I believe that's the power of the arts. Give a kid a voice. And part two, let that kid know that's a voice that deserves to be heard. It's going to be a pretty exciting event with all these kids showing their passion and their talent and professional artists also giving the feedback and starting with the first hour with performances by John Dale Stanley and the gang with Forgotten Door. It's at the Plaza Hotel a week from today, Sunday the 17th. Doors open at 2 p.m. Forgotten Door starts at 2 p.m. And then the American Idol style show starts at 3 p.m. with your host, Jeff Savillico. How do people get tickets? Purchase tickets at the door. Very simple. $15. Show up 2 p.m., get your tickets, enjoy the amazing opening act of Forgotten Door, and then stay and watch 30 amazing kids pour their hearts out on stage for a panel of 15 celebrity judges and then just watch the magic happen. I can't wait. And then again, I have to point out one more time, one of the most inspirational people I've met through this whole journey is this 17-year-old girl sitting to my left. I met her at Broadway Dreamers, and I could not believe, first of all, she was 16 at the time. If you hear what this child says, she wrote an original song on iTunes called You Are Strong. She wrote You Are Strong as a way to inspire and empower her fellow peers. She wrote it for the Suicide Prevention Hotline. This young girl took time off school to do an anti-bullying school tour with Positively Arts Foundation on her birthday. This is a girl at 16 years old who thinks about herself never, thinks about everyone else 
always. I'm in constant awe and amazement, and I am inspired by this young girl. And that's why I made her my student ambassador for Positively Arts Foundation. And the reason I made her my student ambassador is I want to showcase her to the world. She's super talented. Oh my gosh. One reason to come on Sunday the 17th is to hear this young lady sing. We've only been talking about her heart, but her talent is just as big as her heart. I'm so proud of her. Honestly, I can't talk about her without crying. If you've come to any of my events, every time I introduce Cat Ryan and her original song, You Are Strong, I'm usually crying <laughs> at that point. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. Uh Uh-oh, here it comes. Cat Ryan, you got this. (laughs) Thank you. I think it's going to be a great event week from today, Sunday the 17th at the Plaza Hotel for the Positively Arts Foundation, Polita Dinesh, also a big part of the fundraising effort, John Dale Stanley from Forgotten Dork, your own concert to start the show. That'll get everybody off on the right foot. We're excited to do this. Cat Ryan, can't wait until you give your performance at the fundraiser. Thank you to Forgotten Door. Thank you to Cat Ryan. Thank you to the Plaza Showroom for donating. Thank you to the 15 celebrity judges who are donating their time to mentor these wonderful kids. Thank you to our host, Jeff Savilico, and thank you to Phil Pareto of Tickle Me Entertainment who stands behind me for every single nonprofit event I do. And thank you, John Dale, Felita, and Kat for joining us today on Talking Solutions. Thank you, Terry, for having us in today.